This is the third stage of our roller skate demonstration. We'll be using PowerShape to create a cutout feature in the side of the heel support or ankle support of the skate. We'll also be creating housing for a hinge or pivot point on the ankle support. We'll be demonstrating surface creation and editing, work plane creation and the editing of sub-items. I'll just turn off some of these levels and leave us with the main ankle support. We currently have a solid. I'm going to find it easier for the next few stages to be working with surfaces, so I'm just going to quickly and easily convert this to a surface model. I'm going to select these two internal pieces of wireframe. Select this outer surface and project the curves onto the surface. You should be able to see the curves projected onto the surface. I'm now going to create a work plane using the intelligent cursor and the align to geometry feature. I'm going to snap the work plane into a key position. I'm now going to sketch some wireframe. We can use the intelligent cursor to snap to a start point. Then in PowerShape you can either input the values manually or use the intelligent cursor to sketch the line to the desired sizes. Or you can use a combination of the both and roughly sketch a curve, then return to edit its values. We can select the wireframe and convert it to a composite curve and then apply some small fillets. If we select the two pieces of wireframe now, we can open up our intelligent surfacing wizard and it will automatically generate the most appropriate type of surface for the selected wireframe. If we view in Z, we can see that the surface is currently following tangentially to its adjoining surface. We would like the top of the surface to run planar so we can select our option to edit a sub-item and project the selected curve onto a planar base. If we take a look at the surface here, we can see slight bulging here due to the tangent angles. So we can open up the form to edit the tangent angles using the magnitude scale we can just slide that to achieve the desired result. Taking this curve we can convert it to wireframe, select the wireframe and again using our surfacing wizard automatically generate the most appropriate type of surface to fill in that gap. We can select the pieces of wireframe now and delete them as they are no longer needed. We can then select the surface, open up our filleting form, and create some fillets. Same for the bottom, only this time we'll create a concave fillet. We can now see that we've created the housing for the hinge or pivot point of the heel part of the skate. I'm just going to delete this work plane because it's no longer needed. And now we can concentrate on creating the cutout feature in the side of the heel support. So I'm going to use this curve to limit the surrounding surface. We can take the inner portion of the surface 
and just blank that from view for the moment. We can then select the curve and create an extrusion surface from it. If we select the surface, we can edit the values. And if we can convert the surface to a power surface, it will give us a greater range of editability of the surface. We can then select the top curve of the surface and select to edit a sub-item and create a variable offset. We can select 0.8 and offset it 5 millimeters. Select 0.1 and offset that to. We can then free all the points around the curve. So the offset varies from 5 to 2 and back up to 5 again. We can OK that. And if we go for a closer look at the surface we've created, we can see that the tangent angles aren't correct at the moment. So we can look at editing the tangent angles and again as before we can just use a magnitude scale and scale the surface to something like what we want. We can then select this bottom curve and edit the magnitude of both curves at the same time to give us the desired result. We can take this inner curve now and convert it to wireframe which we can then select and again create an extrusion surface. Same as before we can double click on the surface and edit its values give it a negative draft angle and then reverse it. If we come round to the inside, we can select the surface, open up our filleting form, and it will automatically fill it between the inner surface and this surface, and it will trim the surface back as necessary. Now, from the flyout menu again, if we select all surfaces, select materials, and change it to something again that is in keeping with the rest of the skate. If we turn back on our levels, we can see that we've created a neat an aesthetically pleasing hole feature in the side of the skate and a housing for the hinge or the pivot point. In order to do this we've created and edited surfaces, created work planes, generated and edited our own wireframe and also edited sub-items during the designing process.